Have you considered buying a used Apple XServe server to make it into a poor man's Mac Pro? Well, that's exactly what we've done here on N90X. Stay with me as I take you through the steps of turning this officially no longer supported server into the poor man's Mac Pro. drive controller here going into the back under this hood you've got your I've got dual quad core 32 gigs of RAM I pulled the the mezzanine card is comes here there's just four screws and you can pull out that mezzanine card now the mezzanine card does work but it's not accelerated and if you want to use this as a desktop you need to pull it most likely it's just not practical here I have a GT 120 Mac edition or Mac firmware and it's got dual DVI's but there's it comes in many combinations but this is working fine dual power supply this is a really nice rig and it came with 380 gig drives for a hundred and forty six bucks plus shipping also has a super drive in the front here and three the three drive bays which are quick release now the whole idea for this project is these servers this is a 2008 Xserve dual quad cores that's eight cores eight core Xeon running at 2.8 gigahertz, 2.88 gigahertz. So that is a lot of power. It is older and maybe a modern i7 running at 3 gigahertz would outperform it, but you're going to pay a whole lot more, right? And this is pretty comparable and you've got the eight cores and they're all able to be put to use for Final Cut Pro, compressor, you name it. All right, let's put this thing back together and fire it up. Turn on the main power, and now let's hit the on-off switch. Get that beautiful airplane, rocket ship engine, fire sound. There we 
we go. We are operational. And just to show you what we're running. Taking it closer. Ten point ten point three. Two displays, three hard drives, and 32 gigs of RAM. Well, that's it for part one. In part two, we'll look at some of the shortcomings of this setup and how to get around it to make this a real Mac Pro.